I have a mystery keyboard here. Um, this is one of the keyboards that I that I love, and this is it's an arranger keyboard, and this is one of the keyboards that I basically um, love to write arrangements on. Uh, it's hard to play the piano like this, but. Can anybody guess the keyboard? If not, I'll, I'll wait a couple seconds. Can anybody guess the keyboard? It's hard for me to play like that, though. <laughs> Whoa, is it a Casio or a Korg? <laughs> you have to tell me. You know it's weird because the Casio keyboards, they have some really good good piano sounds. And so do Korg. They have really good piano sounds. It's like the Williams. Everybody's like catching up with each other to have the most realistic piano sound. Hint? Okay, it's 61 keys and it's an arranger. Okay. All right, so I'm going to tell you guys. You ready? If, you, if you're ready, just say ready. Yes, it's a Korg. It's a Korg. Can anybody try to guess the model number? Yes, it's a PA Arranger. You're getting there. No, it's not a Roland. Try to get some model number. <laughs> if not, it's okay. I'm going to tell you guys anyway. How about that? All right. Here we go. It is a Korg. It is an Arranger. And um, it has RX sound. So uh, here, I'll give you one, one last. Yeah, it has RX sound and nuances. <laughs> You're close. You're close. Not a PA-60. You're not going to believe it. I have a PA-60 right here. All right, I'm going to tell you. Are you ready? It is the PA-600. <laughs> Yesterday I did a Roland E-600. Today it's a Korg PA-600. And this keyboard, I absolutely love it because I love to do arranging on it, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to show you some of the arranging. What I did, like 12 Sheet Rag, that was one of my arranging that I, that I did on here. Um, and the cable moved again. Can you hear me now? Can't hear. You said cable move again. You can't hear. Darn, darn it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. How about now? Can you hear me good? No audio. Okay, let me fix it. about now? Can you hear anything? You guys can hear anything? Yes. You guys said yes. Can you guys hear me in the microphone? Okay, sounds good. All right, all right. So, yeah, this is one of my arranging keyboards that I like. Um, I'm soon going to upgrade it to a PA4X or a PA3X LE. I had a PA3X LE for a short while, and the screen broke on me. They gave me a floor model, and there was a white white residue right over there on the screen. I'm like, maybe I should take it back. So after using it for a concert, the screen just kaput on me. And I was like, okay, fine. I have to take it back. And that's when I brought my core Kronos. But I still had the PA600. And the PA600 is a pretty cool keyboard. Of course, they have the PA900. Hey, Kit, how you doing? Kit's watching me live. It says no audio. Why do why do you guys say no audio? I mean, is is it so weird? Still no audio.
Okay, can you hear me? Anything? Anything? Yeah, my cables are bad. This cable is definitely bad. Hello, hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? Nothing, nothing. Ay, ay, ay. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Shane said he could hear me. Can anybody else hear me? Yes, I don't know what's going on with my cables, guys. I don't know. All right. So, as I said, this is one of my arranging keyboards. I absolutely love it. Um, this keyboard here, let me see something here. Oh, you know what? Let me go here to factory. This keyboard here, um, I bought it by mistake. Okay, oh, you guys said you could hear me. I bought this by mistake. You guys can't probably see me because I changed the view on the uh, camera. Yes, you can hear me very well. Hey, Kit Cotton. Kit Cotton. How you doing, buddy? Where's your bear? Uh, where's your bear? All right. How many views do we have on here? I want to... Seven views. Okay. So, yeah, this is one of my favorite keyboards right here. This is a PA600, and I bought this keyboard by mistake. What happened is that I had a PA1X Pro. No, a PA1X first. And I was like, I need something that's lighter. So I saw it on Craigslist of this keyboard at a pawn shop. And the first thing I did was this. And I was like, are you kidding me? This thing is so light, I could pick it up with one finger, which is pretty cool. But you know, I actually can't pick it up with one finger when it's like that, but I could tilt it with one finger. Um, when I heard the piano sound. Now, is the piano loud? Let me know if the piano's loud, but I love the piano sound on here. But, um, okay, so when I when I heard the piano sound, I, I fell in love with it. I was like, good, I could do some arranging with this. Um, I have a PSR S950, and I do arranging with that too. But this one, it's much lighter. I could take it on a train with me, and it's much lighter. And also, when I press the pedal, listen to this. That's the sound. And you hear the dampers fall right back down. Lift up, fall back down. Okay, so I'll turn down the keyboard. How's it now? How's it now? Yes, but good. Okay, no problem. All right, so, yeah. I um, automatically loved it, and I had the money, and the guy wanted at least 800 bucks at it, but he said... Today is a sale, and this is at the pawn shop. This is brand spanking new, not a glimmer, not, you know, brand spanking new at a pawn shop. And the guy said, I um, I originally wanted 800 bucks for it. And I'm like, okay, that's no problem. I'm looking at how much it costs. Uh, like, it costs like $1,300 on, like, online and stuff like that, or at a music store. And I said, well, I, I want to buy it right now, today. What's a good price you'll get it for me? That's my cat right there. And... So I got this for five hundred dollars, and it's still a current model. I was so excited when I got home. Um, this replaced my Cork PA One X, and my One X was so freaking heavy. I mean, it was. Um, I had to. Um, I, I had to break my back about it. So that's the piano right here. I can use octaves. Which is really cool. So I can I can do octaves, I can do transpose on the fly. Um, I could pick different kind of instruments. This is one of my favorite instruments right here. Let me show you. If I can do guitar and also I do to um, the DNC voices have more of a realistic sound. So here's the nylon guitar. <laughs> I 
I could play it. I could play it legato. Or chords. I mean, it has good. I get that. And it has a lot of other voices. Yeah, the piano sample is great. That's right, right, Jason. The piano sample is great. Kit said, "Independence Day is coming up. Please play a tune for that." Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'll try. Um, I should have, you know, I was doing it actually on the um, on the Williams. Um, okay, here's movie voices. Check. I'm mean, sorry. This is called movie strings. has good nuances on here. So I have... Sounds so real. Good samples. Good samples. You said you love those strings. All right, and also you have jazz scats, which is really cool. And, you know, it has has different kind of nuances on here. I'll give you an example. Here's a jazz jazz trumpet. It's for another. It has all those good nuances. <laughs> you said you love it. You love it. Okay, here's a jazz cornet. has great great sounds organ sounds okay you have a lot of stuff from the uh the the korg bx3 and this keyboard i love the action on it i could actually play it you have um, different settings on here. Yes, Tom, this keyboard is definitely sweet. Wait until you hear the arrangements. I'm just right now fooling around with the sounds on here. Um, you know what's really cool that I like on here? is the acoustic bass. Let me see if I can find out right here. Let's see, bass is right here. And acoustic pro bass, you get to actually hear, when I go to the low notes, you get to hear the bass slapping onto the fretboard. Very, very good voices. Very good voices. This is a DNC um, finger bass. Beautiful. Awesome. You know, 
I can also trigger on one of these sign pedals the um the the nuances on there, so I don't actually have to press a button, which is good. <laughs> What board am I playing? The board that I'm playing, this is a Korg PA600. And a lot of people do not estimate keyboards with speakers. They are pretty handy if you only have a laptop and you want to take it on a plane with you. Uh, well, or I say, you can't take this on a plane, but you know, when you, if you go on a long trip, this is your full studio right here. And I'm going to give you an example. Okay, so these are some of the voices right here, which are really cool. Let's go to the rhythms. And let me give you one of the examples on here that um, I really enjoy. I load it up. Give you a good example if I could find it on here. Let's see. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, here is is this the one right here? I think so. Yeah. No, it might be the next one. Right here. Okay. Here is a um a swing band. So I'll give you an example of it. Yeah, this is the serious, real stuff. There's one on here. Let me see. There's another swing man right here. That's awesome. This is the one. All right, so I'm going to start it from the beginning. And listen to the drums. Listen to the brass. Listen to the articulation. It's like you're playing with real musicians on here. So here you go. Now, um, you just asked me the question, is the Korg battery operated? No, it's not battery operated. I wish it was. Now, I also have a mode on here, the uh, STS mode. That's like a style select mode and everything. I could take that off if I want to, so right now you're hearing variation one. have a balance between keyboard and style. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit. And when I press the variation 2, this is what it's going to do. It's going to change the whole keyboard for me. So it's going to be like this. Variation 3. Variation 4. And it's really cool. Also, you have a break. You, you can end it. That is so sweet. That's another reason why I bought the keyboard. Yeah, that's another reason. Not not because of um arranging, but what it can do, it's it's incredible. Alright, Tom, you asked. Does it run off a of DC or AC power? No, actually, it um, it's not a power adapter. It comes with a with a cord. It's almost like a computer cord. I, I would disconnect it, but I would just lose all my settings right now. But very simple cord that you can you can buy anywhere. You know, it's it's not it doesn't have an adapter inside. Well, actually, you won't believe it. I opened up this keyboard. It does have an adapter inside of it, but it's a cord and everything. This keyboard is only running off of two microchips. This is one big microchip. And there's one underneath it, and that's it. The, the main power board and, and the microchip, that's it. Usually, 
the keyboard's a lot heavier because you have 16 different microchips inside of it. But no, it's just, just, just two. I can't believe it. All right. So I'm going to get back to the styles, and I'm going to show you some of the styles that I like on here. Like, say, for instance, here's one. This is a funk R&B, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to talk more about the styles of the sounds. If you want to hear more sounds, just let me know. What would you like? What kind of sounds would you like to hear? But um, check this out. This is the funk R&B right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna play the same intro. Let me play it in B flat. So change the key. Now this is variation one. Another thing, yes, yes, Tom. It does have MIDI in and out, and it has USB. It's USB compliant, so that means you don't have any software to hook up to it. Plus, you can use any other devices with a USB. You have you have the USB um, compliant um, port, and also you have the USB um, device port, so you can hook up. Um, give you an example. You can hook up one of these USB jump drives right here, which is pretty cool, and jam along. Now, don't worry, Tom. You can ask a lot of questions. That's what that's what I'm here for. That's what this demo is here for. Um, yes, you can actually upgrade your own sound library on here. Um, there's another versions on here which I have to download that you can upgrade your own sound library by using sound fonts and samples, and you can edit those samples the way how you want it to. It also has in the back here, and there's a hidden compartment in the back which has a micro SD card, and you can only use up to like 16 gigs on a micro SD. And it is pretty cool because you can upload all your samples or sound fonts on here. Korg, they have, um, like sound fonts are basically little snippets of synthesizers that you can actually download into here and get the sounds. Like if you wanted to roll in JV 1080 piano, you can actually download it on here and, it's, and it will play just like it, which is pretty cool. Ah, uh, don't be sorry. You can ask as many questions as you want. Um, okay, so how about this? I'm going to jump around. I'm going to give you a rock rhythm. Now... Let's see, what's just the best rock rhythm on here that I... Oh, okay, here we go. Um, no, you know what, instead of rock, let's go to let's go to ballad. Because there's, there's an organ ballad rhythm that I want to show you that sounds pretty cool. And this is, uh, as I said, there's a lot of things that made me actually buy the keyboard. I'm sorry if I'm looking back from you because I want to see what you guys are writing. But here you go, here's the rock ballad. This is the organ ballad right here. My cat wants to get into the video.
and you you can change it up. That's great. And if I want to end it. getting a full band in here no tom um sound fonts are different from vsts vsts is basically the whole layout of the um instrument but it's on a software vsts i like them but they end up crashing sometimes sound fonts are little snippets of the actual synthesizer and it's put when you load them up they react to whatever synthesizer you're acting to but you're getting the same sound as that synthesizer that you loaded which is pretty neat uh okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna do Another rhythm on here, which is, um, this is a big band rhythm from the Korg i3. That was the first interactive workstation. And so um, it had a big band rhythm just like it on here. And I'm like, okay, I like the big band rhythm. I want to take a style out of the old Korg i3 and put it in here. So here it is. This is it right here. And I'm going to play all four variations. I'm going to play the uh, intro. And it, it sounds pretty cool. And I, remi I remixed it myself, so it sounds really neat. So here it goes. So you get the same styles that you want out of the old classic keyboards, like i30, the i3, really cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Get different fills while you're playing, so you get you get fill-ins that are automatic, like this one right here. Ending. That is sweet. That is sweet. That is sweet. And that's coming from an old Cork i3 made in the 90s. Uh, the i3 was a ONW on steroids, and a lot of people probably had it, which was pretty cool. I know I had three of them, which <laughs> and I missed it. I sold I sold my last one. Okay, um, this one is coming from the um, I could steal rhythms out of the PA nine hundred, in which I did. Um, so this is a, this is called Screen Epic March. Here it is. <laughs> Sounds like a graduation march for a bit. Yet. Yeah, but it, it sounds pretty cool. You have different levels. And here's the ending. Can you guys still hear me? If you if you guys can still hear me, please type in I can hear you. 
if you can hear the voice and the uh, microphone. Um, Tom, you can make your own VSTs. I don't know how, but there's companies that do, and there's software that you can actually do it, and it's a lot of work, I heard. It's like, build, it's like building a real keyboard, but as in a VST synth software synthesizer. Um, okay, so let me do this. Here's um, <laughs> here's a crazy techno. I'm just jumping around. I love to talk about the styles and work with them, but here's a crazy techno that one of my favorites. Here it is. Why, but I like it. It's, it's a crazy techno. And this is only the ending. Um, I'm going to show you another style on here. Uh, let's see. Let's get back to the factory right here because the factory has some really good ones too. And if you want to hear a style, let me know what kind of style you want to hear. I'm going to go into the gospel shuffle. And the beginning, the gospel shuffle is a, like a revival and everything. So I'm going to show you all four variations. And at the end, it has a wonderful drum solo. So here it is. So that's variation one. You could do a lot of things with it. I'm gonna transpose the key. So now I'm gonna play something like this. get an applause at the end which is awesome <laughs> one of my favorite rhythms that's one of my favorite rhythms okay how about this let's jump into the movie category and in the movie category you got everything everything when I'm talking about everything you got everything okay so um let's do something called cartoon time and I'm gonna show you this in major minor and seventh and you get to actually just like on the rolling keyboard that I had yesterday you could do a major minor seventh you could do the same thing on here so here is a major uh, I'm going to do this in a key of, um, you know what, I'm going to transpose it down, do it in a key of B, and here we go. This is major. Now 
that's just the intro. Here's minor. Okay, and this is seventh. Well, to me, it sounded like the seventh was the same thing as the as the major, which is really cool. Cool. Break. And you could get away with murder with this thing. Yeah, very loony toony. <laughs> very loony toony. You have you have other stuff on here. Like here's another one, Misty Ma Mystery Man. This sounds like Austin Powers to me. Check this out. I'm going to do this in a key of um, E flat. I'm going to go to various one. Variation 2. And you could speed up the tempo if you wanted to. Yeah, so this is this is my portable backup band, guys. Um, you know, a lot of people's like, uh, do you like Yamaha? Do you like Yamaha better than Korg? Uh, in I like them both. They, it's like apples and oranges, basically. Um, you know, I like I like them both. There's some stuff on the Yamaha that I like better than the Korg. There's some stuff on the Korg that I like better than Yamaha. But you won't believe what still beats them. And it's weird, but what still beats Yamaha and Korg? What got them started to do all of this stuff? was techniques and a lot of people a lot of people agree with me about that because the techniques keyboards were so ahead of your time you know of, of their time of arranging i mean they had the, one of the best arrangements ever before yamaha the, the tyros and the cork pa series was in the picture techniques had so much sales that they were they were beating everybody and their digital pianos their organs they had everything lined up techniques had such a really awesome pr premiere line and um and you know, and I have a Techniques uh, Grand uh, that I. What happened is that I took a Samic Grand and I took a Techniques Digital 
gutted the Santa Grand and put the Technics Digital inside of it because the Technics sounded so freaking good. And so um, I'm trying to clear off all the space out of it because it's in the piano room. And one of these days I'm going to do a live streaming um, about it. Somebody call me? No, I thought somebody called me outside. I thought I heard my name. <laughs> yes, you agree. Techniques is the best. All right, check this out. Yeah, Techniques, they had um, they had a keyboard, which was, um, of course, the KN7000 was their last one. But I owned a KN2000. I owned a 1000, 3000. Um, I owned their, their organ line. I had tons of their digital pianos. The one, the digital piano that I have in there is a PR... 703 but I as I said I put it inside of a grand piano body so I'm going to definitely show you that and it the the PR 703 is the same thing as a KN 6500 so it has all the same sounds as it which is pretty cool all right here's another one of my favorite rhythms this is called um a fast fast smooth jazz now this reminds me if you're taking a if like say for instance if you're on if you're on a train not more like a subway train it's more like um you know, um, like say, for instance, New York has the subways and they have Metro North. It's like a Metro North train. Here we have the tri-rails. It's like riding on a tri-rail. And you're just sitting back, just, you know, cruising the ride and everything like that. So this reminds me of a train ride. I don't know why, but here it is. Nice, good, smooth bass. It's like, bass is so fat. It's fat, fatter than my bear. I mean, that's such a great bass. That's my cat again. Alright, just adjusting things. Because every time my cat goes through, she hits my mouse. <laughs> all day. And if I want to break it, Yes, the cork speakers stay on when you hooked up hook up to an amp. This is this keyboard is really really professional, and top notch. It's, and it remembers all your settings, whatever you do. So it's it's pretty cool. I mean, it has great. Now another thing too is that I'm gonna let that play. I'm gonna go to the volume area, and what I can do is that I can take out tracks. Just like that. And you have eight tracks of auto accompaniment on here. So if I want to take off the strings, and just leave all the brass parts on there, and put in the conga. And you can use these in your song. So you, you're flexible of how you want your song. And if I'm going to end it, I just answered your next question. Well, I like to answer as many questions. As oh, by the way, you have a 16-track sequencer. It's fully linear, so you can build tracks as you go along. You can overdub tracks. You could split tracks. You could copy. You could paste. Um, you could quantize. You could do groove quantizing on here. 
Um, you can also do a microscope. So if you hit one wrong note, you can actually collect, go back and correct that one note. Um, you could hit the one the note on the screen and correct it to the right to the right note, which is really cool. Um, yeah, this thing is top notch. This thing is really really top notch. I mean, I that's why I bought it. I love I love the way how we could do it. Oh, here's this. Here's a one on here. It's called um, this is the unplug section right here. And I'm trying to find what what rhythm would you guys like to hear? Because I could just pull up a rhythm and. Um, how many sounds can you layer? Oh, about, I talked about the volume control. Okay, I see. Um, you can actually layer, uh, let's see, let's get to the main screen. And if it's on style play mode, you can actually layer two on the top and two on the bottom. Um, the, I think it's if it's on sequencer mode, you can actually layer 16 at the same time. And you can split them throughout the keyboard however you want it. Um, you also have a song play mode and you have a sound edit mode. So the sound edit mode means that you can edit everything. And this is one thing that separates the Korg from the Yamaha um, or any other company. The Korg is a keyboard that is fully, fully, fully editable. What I mean by that is that you can edit every single little nuance. If Say, for instance, the drum sounds, if you want... A higher pitch symbol you could do that if you want to change the symbol completely you can do that um, you can make your own drum kits from scratch from here also you can make your own piano sounds um, or any other sounds from scratch you have up to probably like around 16 levels of whatever you want to do of whatever nuances that you want to do and you can assign the pedals to many different things so it's 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 so flexible of um, what you can you can hook up lyrics to it you have a lyrics and you have a um, a score on here and you have a marker um, wherever you want to you know wherever you want to put the marker on you have a metronome you can change the metronome sound if you wanted to uh, you can lock the tempo you can um, you can actually if you have songs oh by the way this is the cool thing also about Korg um, it has 16 megabytes of internal memory on here no sorry not 16 megabytes 16 gigabytes of internal memory on here so I took all my songs and just loaded it right on here. I don't use I don't use jump drives anymore. Everything is stored on here. So everything that I edit on here, it saves it instantly. So when I load up the keyboard, it's right there. Or you can set it if, to factory if you wanted to. Which is which is pretty cool. Anthony, how you doing, Anthony? <laughs> Anthony Divine Great. Yes, we are just speaking about you last night. Your piano games is crazy. <laughs> Making homemade pianos from scratch. Crazy is very talented. I'd love to make homemade pianos. <laughs> How much RAM does it have? You cannot upgrade the RAM. That's one thing because it's actually branded into the into the chip. But um, you can upgrade the memory in the as with the um, SD card in the back. And my my cat always wants to get in the picture, so that's something about it. Okay, so check this out. Um, oh yeah, as I said, that that's like a <laughs> David. That's funny. It was Anthony. That's funny because um, I was just talking about trains, and that was one of the train rides that um, I mean, one of the train beats that I thought of. Um, you know, if you're riding like Metro North. Oh, check this out. This has a good Latin section. So here's the Brazilian. Um, this is the Samba Brazil. <laughs> Variation 1 is always going to be basic, so I'm going to jump from Variation 1 to Variation 3. And you get that full band with you. If I want to end it. Yeah, my cat's name is Cassio. She's a perfect cat. She's unbelievable. Okay, here's a classic merengue. Oops. Now, you have three intros, three endings. So, just to show you, this is intro three. I'm going to start from three to one. That's, that's intro three. Here's intro two. And 
here's intro one. So you have you have those those intros, which are really cool. I mean, there's, there's, there's tons of rhythms. I'm going to go back to the rhythm, uh, to the uh, horror. You have a horror movie um, imitation right here. So this is a movie category. And here's the horror movie. I'm going to put it to, um, I'm going to put to minor chord. So it's going to sound like this. Let your imaginations go wild. Another thing that you could do, you could edit the preset rhythms to the way how you want them. So you could take a preset rhythm, edit the voices, or edit this whole thing completely. Which is really neat. Really nice. And anytime you want to go back, your imagination could just go wild with this thing. And I'm going to end it. And she's going to just walk off. Actually, there's no walk in there, but it's pretty, it's pretty intense. You want a classic rock rhythm. Okay, let me look for that for you. Because it has, it has a classic rock rhythm on here, I think. There's one called Fiery Rock, English Rock, Hard Rock. You know what? Let's do, um, let's do the Engl let's do the Hard Rock. How about that? Here you go. Definitely need one of these. These things are unbelievable. There was another rock on here, which is um, I liked it. Let me see if I can find it. I don't know if it's heavy rock. Let's see. That one's cool. So you can have a lot of fun with this. <laughs> You can have 
tons and tons of fun with this. All right, let's go into uh, let's go into another category, the ballroom. This is called the jive. Cat again, everybody cat, my cat Cassio. <laughs> okay, so now you want 60s Motown. Okay, let me see if we can find it for you guys. 60s Motown should be an R&B, or let's see, I know I have it on here. Okay, here's a Motown shuffle. Unbelievable. There's another Motown on here. I just gotta see if I can find it. But yeah, there's there's more Motowns on here. Um, let me see if I can find it in the um traditional. No, probably not that. It'll come to me though. But there's there's another Motown. Here's a '70s disco, which is really neat. It, it, kicks, it kicks some serious butt on here. Um, oh, you know what? Let me go back over here to a different here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to play some of the demos on here for you so you get to hear the exact quality of this thing. So let me go into full song, and I'm going to go into harmonica orchestra. Hear this. That is one of my favorite demos. Yes, Tom, you can actually use this in a cover band. You can switch instruments. You can save your own instruments. It is. It, you, you could definitely use this as a cover band. Check this out. This is the modern movie, like a horror movie. Pretty cool.
That is super, super cool. Uh, you said the electric guitars are artificial. Well, yeah, you know why? Because a lot of guitars, they're so critical. And it's just like pianos, you know, like there's some keyboards that are very artificial for me on here. But this got some really good guitars. Like, um, here, right, let me go, go back to demo mode. And here's a acoustic guitar. pretty cool now let's check this out i'm gonna go into let's see, get out of here let's go into the country mode since we're in a country mood um and here's a bluegrass and i'm just jumping around. as i said if you want to hear a rhythm like a certain kind of rhythm um just put it on the screen and i'll sh i'll find it okay so here's a bluegrass <laughs> That's a bluegrass right there. Um, you have other stuff like, say, for instance, uh, country strum. Now, how about country blues? Let's see that one. You want a country quick, quick, quick step? Modern country. Country buggy. get to some some of the user rhythms that I put on here which is um give you a good example and every, everything's touch screen oh by the way this is the only bad part about this keyboard everything most of the mostly your heart and soul is the screen the touch screen 
I have to replace the screen on here. If the if the screen goes, that's it. The rest, I mean, you can still work with the with the buttons, but it's hard to do it because most of it's screen right here. And that goes with any PA series keyboard. If the screen goes, this costs me three hundred bucks to replace the screen. Which is what happened is that um um another keyboard fell on top of it and the screen just shattered. But you know, so I I replaced the screen. It was like three hundred bucks. It was not pretty. <laughs> Here's the modern big band. I already did that one, so let's not do that one. <laughs> uh, let's see. I already did that one. Sorry, guys. Let's try. There was a, there was more on here that is really good. Oh, let's try bass and drums. Let's try that one. There's a rhythm that I did on here. Um, actually, I copied from one of my older keyboards. Um, oh, check this out. Cha cha cha. Let's hear that one. <laughs> I have different kind of cha cha cha, pop cha cha. Let's go. This is one of my favorites. I think this one right here. That one right there. this like say for instance I'm gonna go to the next variation of four and that's how the rhythm sounds right now if I press a seven it's gonna it's gonna change up a little bit so it's gonna sound like this So you can change up major sevenths and minors. There was another crazy cha cha. Yeah, this one right here. <laughs> this is cool. Listen to this one. Variation one, variation two. You get you get those little fills in. Break. Very straight. Here's variation four. <laughs> Tom, 
Yeah, I think you learned a lot about the court today. Um, thank you so much for watching my video. And, uh, you know, have a good night and everything like that. Me, myself, I'm, I'm still going to play for you guys if you guys want to request um, more, you know, until I go to sleep, which, which I will, which is no problem. What time is it? Anyway? Oh, shoot, it's 2.22. Hey, Lucas, how you doing? Hey, who, how many people's on my line? Four people. Yeah, this thing is pretty, pretty intense. I'm just going to keep on going. I like, I'm going to talk more about the styles and the sounds. If you guys want to hear a certain sound or a certain style, just go ahead and do it. Here, this is over here. This is called the Oriental. Actually, that's not the one I want to show you. Let's go to the world category, and let's go to the real ones, which is, let's see if I can find it on here. Let's try this one right here. Ah, that's not it. That's not it. I wanted to show you guys a really cool uh, Oriental one on here, which is really neat. And I know it's here. I just can't find it. Mad Scott. Let's hear it. Let's Mad Scott. I'm gonna find eventually find it, and then I'll um, I'll get into it. Skaz are always those really funky, not funky, or just say like kind of weird, you know, rhythms on here. I, I love a ska. It's pretty neat. Okay, so um, let's see. I'm going to try to go to, if I can find it. Oh, check this out. Here's a Calypso. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check this out. I took this rhythm off of the Korg um, PA-1X, um, and this rhythm's also on, like, the PA-60. This rhythm dates back from the Korg IS-40, and it's remixed, all modernized and everything like that. This is called Swing Shuffle. Check this out. <laughs> Let me restart that again. <laughs> That's what I wanted to let you hear. Very nice, smooth shuffle. Name. 
Nice. <laughs> nice. You could control your own band on here. Oh, okay. Uh, Lucas, you wanted to hear... Oh, good night, Tom. Um, you wanted to hear something like a Brazilian... I, well, I know, I know the, the Brazil song. I could try it. Knowing this late, I might end up messing it up. But I'm sorry about that. Um, let's see. Let's give you a good Brazil rhythm on here. Here's a Brazilian samba. Which I played earlier. Oh, even better. I got one even better. I'm going to play this one, which I played earlier. The fast um, jazz. This is more of a Brazil song. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. So this is amazing. Ha! Huh? You know, I really love movie Brazil. It is my favorite of all time. I have to watch a movie. Hey, Celeste, how you doing? Celeste Rose is there. Hey, Sam, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, yes. Oh, my gosh. How many people's online? Let me see. I got an audience. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Lou said, Chris. Uh, nice, Chris. How about, how about that? A keyboard with... High frequency on the right hand. Well. And left hand has the bass and everything. <laughs> which is pretty cool. Lucas says, now I got to I gotta go now to man. Okay, no problem, because it's late. It's like going on three o'clock. You know, I should go too, but I'm just having so much fun on this keyboard. I'm reading your comments. I'm good, just taking a break from working on my wedding. Oh wow! Congratulations! I want you to film it. Please film it. You know, I you know I like to see other other people's weddings and everything. All right. So um, hey, let's go to the traditional area. And oh, I found it. <laughs> Here is like the Middle Eastern kind of stuff. And that's in that's in nine eight. I'm gonna try something that's in four four. Let me see if I can find it on here. Where is this in four four? Let's try this one. So you got that one. You got this one over here. Yeah, you said you said this morning it was swapped around. It was definitely swapped around. We we kind of fixed it a little bit better. So I hope the audio was really good. Long drum solo. Turkish pop. You know, so you get a lot of Middle Eastern. I'll check out. I'm gonna go to the sounds and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the drums on here. 
Um, so you have different kind of drums on here, which is really neat. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Awesome, awesome drums on here. Uh, here's my favorite the jazz. And it's different velocities. Here's the one here. Pretty, pretty cool for what it does. Um, Bollywood, <laughs> Bollywood. Yeah, it has a lot of Bollywood stuff. Oh, it has the um, jungle kit. And different. This is really neat. Uh, oh, you have a sound effect kit too. Bell. Yeah, it's it's just crazy, crazy. So you got plenty of sound effects and plenty of pianos and really neat. oh the orchestra, uh, not the orchestra, the um electric pianos on here. All right, you want to hear a cathedral organ sound? Let's see if I can find one on here. Oh, here we go. Um, well, first, these are theater organs right here. That's one. Here's number two. And then you got cathedral, which is the church ones. You might want to adjust your speakers. Full pipes. This is called Pipe 2D. Nice. Pipe 2D2. That's sweet. I like that. Pipe 2D3. Pipe 2D4. Okay, a pipe flute. A uh, pipe flute two. Mixture pipes. Falute pipe. Small pipe. And positive organ. Yeah, the pipe organs on here are really awesome. A lot of the organs on here are pretty cool. Check this out. One of my favorite. Oh, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to show you this, and I'm going to show you one of my arrangements that I did on here. Um, this is one of my favorite sounds on here, which was, where is it, where is it? Here's my cat again. <laughs> what do you want? I'm doing a video. Crazy cat. Oh, check this out. Classic Wurlitzer.
chops are my chops are fading because I'm I'm slowly falling asleep. Um, but it's all right. Um, you got as I said, you have a twelve string guitar. You have the DNC guitar. So this is pretty cool. Awesome, awesome guitar sounds you have on here. Um, do I play for weddings? I yeah, I do. I haven't played the the wedding march in a long time, so I have to reprogram that for you. But I, I or I practice it, you know. But yeah, I do play for weddings, um, mostly receptions. This is called natural nylon. Always wants to get in the way. Let me show you her. This is my cat Cassio. Can you see her? <laughs> Let's see, right here. You can see her right here. I think. She's so funny. She she wants my attention right now because it's her time mostly. She's purring up a storm. <laughs> stay. Stay. No. Stay. Stay. Stay right there. Stay. <laughs> She's a character. But this is this is all of this I can arrange and everything will sound good. So if I wanted to do brass, the brass sounds on here are phenomenal. So I could go. Funky. Beautiful brass sounds. If I put a little octave. So you can get those sounds. So I could let my imagination go really wild with it. Yeah, my kitty was up there. <laughs> you saw her attack me. Yeah, this is her time. So that's why she's interfering. She's like, go, come, come on, come on to bed. Saxophones. Awesome. Awesome. Sex noises. I don't know why it says next sex noise. Oh, check this out. Um, if I can find it. Woodwinds. Check out this whistle sound. You 
the breath noise and everything. Clarinet. Flute. You gotta love that. You have to love that. It also has synthesizer pads on here, which are really cool. Like, say, for instance, um... You can do a whole bunch of stuff with that. Wave pad. Motion Ocean. Yeah, you can make some really creepy music with this stuff, which is really cool. All right, I'm going to go back to the styles, and I want to play with some more styles on here. Let's go to the Latin dance category. The torture dance. What is that? <laughs> Oh, this one's pretty cool. Instead of creepy music, let's make some Christmas music. There was a rhythm on here that was really, really, really cool. Let's see, Disco Samba. Still getting better every time. And I can end up. You also have a category called unplug. So say for instance, um give you an example. This is called an unplug swing. By the way, it recognizes, if, if you play any chords on the left hand, it recognizes those chords. Or you can play it on the right hand, you can split the keyboard or have it as a full keyboard, which is pretty cool. Change up the rhythm how you want it.
really neat. <laughs> And I can end it. Yeah. Check this out. This is called a slide blues. And it's made for like slide guitar around here. So let me see. I want to end it. There was another rhythm on here that was really, really cool. I mean, you got so many good rhythms on here. Um, classic funk. Let's hear that one. That's pretty cool. Trying to think um, of another rhythm that's on here that's really neat. Oh, <laughs> let's get back here because I saw one that's really, really cool that um, I used before. Let's see. Oh, check this out. This is the, um, I'm going to go through these rhythms over here. Here is the jazz big band. This is really cool. And just every detail. You got every little detail. Definitely, you're in Miami. <laughs> okay, big band shuffle.
Wow. <laughs> okay, this is called a fast jazz waltz. play the Charleston okay check this out here's a Charleston right here he has their first chicken trying to see if I remember it okay here we go 